WhatsApp and got support from 263 on the blog, like you know, all these down people, this is my way what I do. So the like if you listen to be here, you do this our brand, do not take him baron, and I'll tell you to go. So when I check for the so you should not be under under should not be underestimated. Filipinos are not new in battles and wars. I think the Philippines is one of the countries in Asia with so many documented battles and wars in history. Since the first battle that took off in Mactan against the well-equipped Spaniards to this generation against insurgencies and terrorism, Filipinos are no ordinary warriors. So here are the top five reasons why you should not underestimate Filipino soldiers. Number five, tested survivalists. Filipino soldiers can survive in any form of terrain conditions except for winter condition because that never happened in the Philippines. Even with inadequate supplies and equipment, they can manage to survive and stay in their position and finish the mission. If you talk to Filipino veterans, they like to share some of their stories in a jungle and how they managed to survive for many days. Number 4. Filipino soldiers know how to enjoy their profession. This is really something that makes Filipino soldiers unique. They are just happy soldiers. They know how to raise their morale in their own way. Even they are away from their families, the brotherhood of this man in arms are really strong and they are willing to sacrifice for them. That is the reason why Filipino soldiers have strong fighting spirit during battles and they don't like to back down missions. Number 3. They hate oppressors. Most wars that happened in the Philippines were attributed from the abuses of the oppressors and invaders of the country. When the Americans introduced new helpful systems to help the country improve during the American rule, Filipino soldiers surrendered. Even the famous Filipino generals Miguel Malvar and Simeon Ula surrendered respectively and that's because there was prosperity among their countrymen. But if the Americans did the opposite at the time, Philippine-American war could have been prolonged and brutal. Number 2. Experience It is known that Filipino soldiers may lack sophisticated equipment and weapons, but they have experience. Experience that will make them nightmare to their enemies. When international military Looking like exercises were held in the Philippines, such as the Balikatan. Many of the foreign soldiers admired the Filipino combat and survival tactics, not to mention the Filipino martial arts, etc. And that's because Filipino soldiers were battling different kinds of warfare and enemies in the past, like the elusive Abusiaf, the communists in the thick jungles of the Philippines, and then the urban warfare with the Mauti group. It provides the Filipino soldiers new knowledge and tactics in handling situations. And number one, bravery. General MacArthur once said, give me 10,000 Filipinos and I shall conquer the world. He himself saw the bravery of the Filipinos during World War II. Hey, you are still remember some video of this guy. This guy was actually, he was more, he was more concerned about this guy more than his life. War II and during the Korean War. The most epic battle during the Korean War that made Filipino soldiers known for their bravery is the Battle of Yildong. After their allies retreated in Desiree, the Filipinos numbering 900 found themselves surrounded on all sides by 40,000 enemy soldiers. Yet they stood their ground and repulsed wave after wave of enemy assaults, which continued well throughout the night. They never gave up their position, they never backed down, and at the end of the battle, 500 enemies killed and only 15 from the Filipino soldiers died. During the Marawi siege, Filipino soldiers even wounded. They never wanted to leave behind their comrades and their position. It is one distinct trait of the Filipino soldiers that made the powerful countries to not underestimate them, and that is their bravery. This is Jake Esmo, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit that you thing button. I'm out.